Not only will single sign-off help secure your company's data, it is also a very seamless and easy way for users to log into the Alassian Cloud. We partnered with the largest identity providers to support SAML single sign-on, including Okta, Azure AD, ADFS, and Google. We also offer API support to build your own integration. Jonathan will now walk us through how single sign-on is set up with Okta. Similarly to user provisioning, setting up SAML single sign-on involves generating tokens and copying them back and forth between your identity provider and Atlassian, albeit with a couple additional steps. So Skim and SAML work great on their own, but even better together. You can provision users from an IDP into your Atlassian organization and then hand off single sign-on to the same identity provider. So you centralize all your user creation, login, security in one place. If your users are using Google Workspace, you can also use Atlassian Access to enforce login with Google uh, through our G Suite feature over here as an SSO option instead of SAML. For today, we're going to show setting up SAML through Okta like we did with Skim. So I'm going to go to security and then to SAML single sign-on. I'm going to click here at SAML configuration. Now I'm going to need to go to Okta to generate some credentials. So now here we are in Okta and I'm going to go to applications, Atlassian Cloud, and then sign on. So as you can see right now, it's just web authentication, but conveniently I can go edit that, switch to SAML 2.0 and click view setup instructions. So all these steps you can follow in the documentation, but what I'm interested in here is these populated fields, the entity ID, uh, SSO URL, and the public certificate. So I'm going to copy these over into my Atlassian Cloud interface. So now you can see I'm back in admin and I'm going to copy each of those fields over. There's the entity ID. There's the SSO URL, and there's the public certificate. I'm going to hit Save Configuration here. And we let you know right away, there's another step involved, unfortunately. So you don't get to just start using SAML right after you save those. After you've saved your IDP credentials, we generate an additional set of credentials here that you are going to need to copy back into Okta. So I'm going to go ahead and copy these and switch back to Okta. So now back in Okta, I am going to go down here. And as you can see, here is uh, where I need to copy my unique ID, uh, which we call the entity ID. And then there's the service URL. Uh, here, Okta kind of separates it out into Jira and Confluence, but you can paste the same thing for both. And hit save. And that's it. That's SAML. After a little bit of back and forth, your settings here are saved. And now any of your users that you have synchronized through um, Okta, which includes the users you've synchronized through Skim, should be able to log into Elastian Cloud with enforced SAML single sign-on from Okta.